Welcome to Signature TV News Flakes. I'm Charles Pius. Cyril Ramaphosa has been sworn in for a second term as President of South Africa in Pretoria. Cyril Ramaphosa was elected president last Friday in the National Assembly with the help of minority parties in an unprecedented coalition government of national unity that will see the ANC share power with other parties. In his inaugural speech, President Ramaphosa said that the people of South Africa, through their votes, have asked the, the different political parties to work together. He promised as president to ensure that the wish of the people is realized. Meanwhile, delegates, including South African po politicians and foreign visitors, arrived in the capital Pretoria some before sunrise on Wednesday to witness the swearing-in of President Cyril Ramaphosa for his second term as president. Despite the ANC's loss of majority, the re-election of President Ramaphosa signals a continuity of leadership during a changing political environment. The failure of his party to win the majority in last month's election for the first time in 30 years prompted the formation of a government made up so far of five parties. The ANC said the unity government uh, would ensure representation in government for all participating parties and would make decisions by consensus. It was a day of celebration of professional excellence, commitments to motherhood and distinguished career in public and community service, as family and friends of Promise Okafor gathered to celebrate her 70th birthday milestone. The vibrant events, which took place on Tuesday in Enugu, was filled with shades of purple as family, friends and distinguished guests gathered to honor a woman who has touched the lives of many. It's on day for her. The possibility has achieved so much. God has been so good. But it is, from, from, from what I know, it is yet morning on creation day. Eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard what God say plans with this woman. She's an amazing woman. She's an achiever. She's a go-getter. She's liked by everybody. She resides in the United States. She has conquered a strange land. She is doing excellently well. She is... At 70, she's looking 40. Reports say one person is still trapped inside a three-story building under construction and collapse that collapsed on Tuesday evening in Abakaliki, Dearborn, state's capital. The collapsed building is located inside the Alex Ikweme Federal University Teaching Hospital, Abakaliki. During a search and rescue operation, one person was rescued and rushed to the hospital for medical treatment earlier, while efforts were made to rescue the other still trapped inside the collapsed building. Meanwhile, the second person was later rescued late at night and taken to the hospital. The Minister of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, Hanatu Musa Musawa, has disclosed the creation of an economic expansion fund of $100 billion towards promoting and preserving the cultural heritage of President Tinubu's administration. Musa Musawa, who was represented by the Director of Cultural Direct Industry and Heritage, Ben Ugo, at the 2024 Ojude Oba Festival held at the Ojude Oba Pavilion in Ijebo Day on Tuesday, acknowledged the cultural diversity of Nigerians, noting that the federal government is working towards making the country a cultural hub by the end, by, the, by year 2030. River State Governor Similae Fubara has sworn in new caretaker chairman for the 23 local government areas of the state. The swearing-in was done on Wednesday at the government house in Port Harcourt, the state's capital, amidst tight security. Taking off the oath of office is coming a day after the forwarded the list of the state's house of assembly led by factional speaker Victor Jumbo. And on the foreign scene, delegates including South African politicians and foreign visitors
Heavy rainfall near Bangladesh's northeastern border with India has caused flooding in the Silet Division, authorities say on Wednesday. Drone footage from local media showed large fields and villages inundated as the continuous rainfall caused the water level of the Soma River, which passed through Silets, to rise flooding surrounding areas. People were seen wading through knee-deep water in Silet on Tuesday as over 370,000 people were reportedly stranded in the rural areas. China and Malaysia have renewed a five-year economic cooperation deals allowing exports of fresh durans during a visit by Chinese Premier Li Kuang to mark 50 years of diplomatic ties. After Wednesday's closed-door meeting, Li and Anwar witnessed the signing of more than a dozen pacts on cooperation in areas ranging from the digital economy to green development, housing, tourism and communications, among others. North's leader, uh, North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, says North Korea intends to further improve its strategic cooperation with Russia. Kim, who was speaking during a summit meeting with visiting Russian President Vladimir Putin, noted that Pyongyang will also unconditionally support all of Russia's policies. North Korea have expressed full support and solidarity with the Russian government, army and people in carrying out a special military operation in Ukraine to protect their sovereignty, security interests, as well as territorial integrity. And Russia on Tuesday claimed strikes on Ukrainian armor depot, while Ukraine reported it has destroyed Russian tanks over the past 24 hours. The Russian Defense Ministry reported that the Russian armed forces launched attacks against Ukrainian personnel and weapons in multiple areas, destroying a Ukrainian warehouse storing Western-supplied weapons. Russian forces also targeted a Ukrainian workshop producing attack drones. A U.S. soldier detained in the Russian city of Vladivostok on charges of theft and threats to kill his girlfriend has been found guilty on Wednesday and sentenced to three years and nine months in a Russian penal colony. Gordon Black, a 34-year-old U.S. staff surgeon who was detained on May 2nd in Vladivostok in Russia's Far East, pleaded not guilty on Monday to charges of threatening to kill his girlfriend but admitted he was partially guilty of stealing from her. In sports, tributes are pouring in for Willie Mays following news that the, May, the Major League Baseball greats died on Tuesday at the age of 93. Fans left flowers at Mays statue in San Francisco, California and remembered the Hall of Fame as a legend and pioneer of the game. Mays was an electrifying uh, center fielder during a 23-year playing career in which he established himself as one of the greatest all-round players of all time. An elite goal by Portugal substitute Francisco Consensao secured a 2-1 victory over the Czech Republic in their opening Group F game at Euro 2024. Portugal dominated possession and had the lion's share of the chances, but it was the Czechs who took the lead in the 62nd minute when Lukas Provod whipped a stunning strike into the far corner. The game was in other time when Consensao tapped in from close range after a defensive mistake from Haranak to give Portugal the win. And that's the news this hour. I'm Charles Pius. Thanks for watching. See you next time.